Hello, hello, Year 4 artists. This is the last lesson of our printing project, looking at colour graphs and aerial photos. And we're going to end it by doing a quick print of our name so we can actually sign our work. I'm going to show you how to do this now. We're using a type of printing block uh, which is made of polystyrene. And what we do is we draw into the block. We actually use biro to do this. I'm just doing a quick little person there and a pattern just to show you the idea. Um, this is a very simple way of printing, uh, quite quick and effective. You just draw onto there and here it is when I print it. But what you'll notice is you see how it's reversed. So the person's face I drew on the left, when it prints, it comes out on the right and the pattern was the opposite. Now that's fine for printing, except if we want to print our names, that's when it's a problem. So watch this. This is me writing out my name using some paint. I'm going to then print from this, lay the paper on. And what happens is it comes out back to front. So what we have to do, if we're going to write our name on a piece of printing foam, styrofoam here, is we need to write it backwards. So what I suggest you do is you have a practice of this on a piece of paper, writing your name backwards before you try to write it on the foam board here. Okay, so I've just written Emma backwards and Martin I'm doing backwards. So definitely have a good practice of this before you try writing it onto the printing block. Now what I want you to do now is to print from it. So I've asked your teachers to set up um, one table in the, the classroom as a printing station and that's going to have um, some trays and inks and rollers which I'll show you in a moment. I'm just finishing decorating mine. There we go, that's finished. Fine. Name written backwards, a few patterns on. Yes, yeah, so the printing station, you need some newspaper down, one of these trays. You need this printing ink, but you only need a little bit at a time, okay? A little blob of that. Don't overload your tray. It makes a horrible mess if you do that. Then you've got two rollers. You've got one little one, which is the same width as the uh, printing block, and then you've got an enormous one. Don't do the inking with the bigger ones. You want to use just the little one for the inking. Now the idea is, is you're getting an even layer of the printing ink on this and it takes a moment or two um, to keep rolling it backwards and forwards. You don't want any thick lumpy bits of printing ink in one corner and then nothing in the other because this is going to mean you get a nice amount on your roller. Okay, can you see that's a layer on there? So now you just layer that on. Can you see how that's coming out? So wherever the black is, that will come onto your piece of paper, that black. And wherever the white is, there won't be any ink there. So your name will be left. Don't use the little one with the ink on. Use the big one, the nice clean one. This is why it's important that you keep one for the ink and one to be clean. There we go. So you can see my, the words of my name are in the green because I had green paper. I'm going to ink it again. Do at least two prints. OK, and then you can choose the best one. And you're going to leave this to dry somewhere in the classroom. Just rub this down. You can use the roller, that's great. You could even use a spoon like we did the other day. Okay, so I've got two prints now. Just put those aside to dry and that's great. Enjoy making your signatures.